everybody. My name is Byron Bullock, and today I will be um, teaching you guys some smooth jazz guitar techniques. Um, I hope you guys are all doing good out there today. And um, before we get started, um, at the end of this video, if you like the information that you're going to receive today and you're satisfied with it, um, below the video there'll be a subscribe button that you guys can click on and subscribe to my channel I have a whole bunch of other videos coming behind this one so I get you guys up to speed on this smooth jazz guitar improvisation all right so anyway today I want to start off with keeping things very very simple first because I want you guys to get this um for you guys that are just starting are just coming into the, the jazz scene and want to uh, sharpen your skills on, you know, jazz guitar, solo and improvisation and stuff like that. This would be a good start. So I want to keep it really, really, really simple for you guys so you can understand it. And um, the first thing we're going to do today is to start off with the A minor seven chord. I would think that all of the pros already know that chord and uh, you know a lot of the um, the guys in the middle that play guitar as well that know that chord so along with that chord comes a a minor a minor scale a minor pentatonic scale okay and first I'll play the chord because we're gonna keep it simple so you guys can understand this play the A minor 7 chord and then just play the minor pentatonic scale. Slow. Now the next chord that we're going to do is going to be a C major 7 chord. First position. That's the C major 7 chord. This is the scale. So it's the C major 7 chord, which is the relative major to the A minor 7 chord. Okay. Then we want to go down to the C major 7 chord, second position. Okay. That's down here. kind of wrap my thumb around here it's another way that chord could be made as well that's another position that you can also use but you're probably going to want to start out with this one and the scale for that is C major 7 chord where you see your middle your middle C note you have your low your middle and your high note which is all C's so now the middle C I'm going to turn that around I'm going to show you another chord which is going to be a minor ninth chord okay and I need to really get this chord So see, I just took my index finger right here and put on that middle C. And then I put my second, my third finger on the A. And then I laid my, my little finger on the G and on the, um, the B and on the high E. That completes that chord and makes that a minor ninth chord. So you can see, let me move that finger out of the way. Now, that chord is related to the major 7, which is the, the C. It's related to the A minor 7. And also the first inversion of 
the C major 7, okay? Now, um, the scale we would play with that That's the minor ninth, okay? So you can play that, you can play that major, um, the major C uh, scale to that chord as well. Now, I want to go to the third position on the C major seven, which is down here on the twelfth fret, okay? And I want you guys to see that chord. So then we the scale would be let me just fall right into it. Now I want to show you guys how with those one, two, three, four, five positions of the minor seven, the minor ninth, the major seven, one, two, and three positions, and how that actually works. And, um, and show you how to be able to play and improvise over those chords, because it's real simple. So if we're playing the A minor, some, some people will play it like that, or you can play the A minor seven, like that. It doesn't matter how you play these scales when you imp imp improvise it. You don't want to play them like da, 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 da. you don't want to do that for all of your scales. You don't want to do that. You want to mix those notes up to however you want to express yourself. That's what improvisation is all about. Expressing yourself through your instrument or soloing. So don't get confused. So when you have these positions, like if I have a C major seven, that goes with that. C major seven, A minor ninth, C major seven. Okay. I went over those positions with you guys. So now we're going to keep it simple once again, all right? C major 7. I can play that off of the minor pentatonic. See what I just done? I mixed the major and the minor scale together. I can mix them any kind of way I want to mix them. Okay. See what I just did with the major seven. Um, the major, the major scale on the major seven chord. I can play it any kind of way that I want. Any note that's in that scale, I can put it in any order that I want to. It don't have to be. It don't have to be that. Why it can't be this? stopping it from being that nobody it could be whatever you want it to be so if you have the groove going and you do the major and you just strike in a groove just off of that a minor but then you can do now also if you say, it could be whatever you want it to be. So it don't have to be. It don't have to be that. <laughs> Let it be this. to be that or you can now we can add some other stuff in there 
I'm going to show you how to make all it. And, and that's in any key you want this to be in. It doesn't matter. if You could do it in A, but you could also do it in B too. You could do it in F, G, whatever key you want. Once you learn it in A, which is that's where I want you to learn it at first, is in A minor. So that way you, you feel comfortable going to the other keys after you learn it like I'm teaching it to you right now. Now, we need to throw in some arpeggios. Can't leave them cats out, man. That's what that's what gives your stuff flavor. That's kind of like the the Zat Ran seasoning in some gumbo, man. <laughs> and really spike it up. So anyway, we want to do that. So like if, if we have this um the C major seven. We could go. We could do that. We could do this. Those are arpeggios. One, three, five, seven, so forth, so on. And just those are just the number positions in the scale. So don't be confused by about that. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back to eight, no, uh, uh, eight. So do you have to start on the one to play that arpeggio? No. That that's gonna make it sound scaly. So when you play the chord, check this out. you guys to really play that until you say I got this because he playing the arpeggios he playing the minor pentatonics the major that's all I'm doing I ain't doing nothing special I ain't doing nothing you can't do, believe me. So now I want to show you some other little stuff to go with that and how you're going to pull all of that together. Make us a big old pot of spicy gumbo out of this jazz improvisation thing. Smooth jazz. I want to show, I'm going to throw in some chromatics. Here we go. That's all for the minor pentatonic. Play that chromatic in there. This is the scale. Why I can't do this? Now you know that's simple. Man, that sounds sweet when you got a groove going. Just try, and then you don't have to just do it like you could go. You can do it any kind of way you want. You can put those notes in any order that you want. Man, ain't nobody holding your hand behind your back saying you can't do that. Don't let nobody tell you that neither. Say no. Byron said, I can play it any kind of way I want, any kind of way I feel in my heart. And in my mind, I can express myself. There you go. So there's no set order. So when you do it, now I want to show you that too. So I'm going to give you all kind of little tools to put in your little toolbox. In the I want you to be able to do your slide. So what makes you say, I can't do that? See that? 
just slide in there, man. Those slides sound good when you're playing some jazz or some smooth jazz or something like that. See what I just did? That's your slide. Throw those slides in there. You don't have to go overboard with it, but you got to put it in there where it, it feels it fits. How you ever, how you feel in your heart, you're like, ooh, that tastes good right there. You know, you might go. Just something, just as simple and sweet like that. And you're right there to the scale. So. Real simple, real simple. All I did was play off of that major scale and I played it any kind of way that I want to play it, right? You could be doing the song. And then put on an A minor backing track. Find you some backing tracks out there somewhere in the world on the internet, on the YouTube. Put that thing on and put this to the test that I'm showing you and watch how good you, you, you sounded with that backing track. So I'm not gonna play a backing track today to play along with it because I just wanted you to get the technical part of what I'm trying to show you. Chromatics. Pentatonic. Major. Arpeggios. So mix all of that in there and what you're doing, get your little grooving back and track and just play along with it. And don't try to rush and do a lot of it. And, and, and let me tell you something. Don't try to be doing it all fast neither. Because all that stuff, all that stuff going to come. Because that comes with experience. Speed comes with experience. And the more you do it, the better you're going to get. And speed is not always to be able to convey your message through improvisation. Just doing a whole bunch. Nobody don't understand that. Take your time and play each note and let the sweetness of the note come out. Because B.B. King used to say a long time ago when I was a kid, he said, um, it's not how fast you can play it, but it's how sweet you can make it sound. And that stuck with me and it sticks with me till this very day. It's not how fast you can play it, but it's how sweet you can make it sound. So when you do things, and even off of that minor ninth chord, watch this. See how I use that minor ninth chord in there too? I didn't want to leave him out. That minor chord, that minor ninth chord can be used in there just like that. And like I say, you don't have to do it because speed is going to come with that experience. All of those notes. All that's going to come. So don't try to rush it. Do it slowly first. Like...
it sweet and let it come out smooth. Because what you do slow, you going to be able to do it fast. But you don't want to do a whole bunch of that stuff. Little, 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 little sound like a humming bee. Because when you play, you want to be able to play and interact with other musicians. And so you don't want to just be like a lead hog. But you, you, you're not even telling a message. Let your solo improvisation tell a message every time you play. And one thing, other thing I want you guys to do is learn how to scat with your, your notes because that's going to really help to tell your story. I've met a lot of musicians in my lifetime and some guys were struggling with solo and they just, it's all over the place. I said, slow it down, man. Tell your story. Tell a story. Let your story be told through the notes you play. You ain't told no story. So begin to hum with those notes. That's how you come up with sweet melodies. See, you're telling a story. You speaking, you letting your instrument speak for you. Even if you don't do it verbally, do it mentally. And you will find that your solos are going to be so nice, people are going to want to sit down and listen to them say, no, he's telling the story. He's not just ripping a whole bunch of notes because we can do this all day long. We can do all of that all day long and go just do all of that. But it, what story am I telling? I want to tell a story. Even if you write and arrange a song, you want to tell a story through your melody. Because if you, you know, anybody can just get on a guitar and we, I can grab one of these other rock guitars and we can just go all out with that. But that's not telling a story. That's just playing a whole bunch of notes that have no meaning or no story behind them. So I want you guys to slow it down. Tell your story, even if you're just playing two notes. <laughs> You see, tell a story. Let it be known that you are telling a story when you pick up your instrument and you play some jazz. If you're playing a two-five-one. Let your story be told on the one. When you come back to the two. You see, you told, you just tell a story through sweetness. And, and and like I say, if you played it fast, it was. And you just fall right. The same thing I just showed you out of A minor, even though we went to a C minor and a little balsam. But it's the same exact concept, fellas, when you're out there, or ladies, because I ain't gonna leave y'all out. Um, 
out of this thing neither because they got some bad females that can can bring some smoke on this box. <laughs> so uh, I enjoy being with you guys today. And I'm going to be back because I want you to get this. And I'm going to nail y'all to the wall till you get it. And I know some of y'all are going to subscribe to my channel and say, Byron, I got this. And so, um, you know, y'all hit me up. Send me a little email. Send me a little note, message or something like that. Say, Byron. And if you get hung up on something, say, Byron, man, I, I've been working on this, but I got hung up right here. I will unlock your hang up real quick. And I will keep it simple always because anytime we come on the channel, we want to keep this simple, okay? Because I want you guys to really, really get this. I have to pass this baton on to you younger guys before I leave here, man. And I really will be very adamant about doing that, okay? So I'm going to see you guys on the next video. If you like the information that you got today and you you um, you enjoyed it and you got, you got something out of it, Go ahead and hit my subscribe button. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, man. And I'm going to be back with some more videos, man, because I got this OBS thing figured out now. <laughs> so you you guys just hang in there with me, man. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 be out here showing you, you guys some more stuff, man. So I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.